Just give us a little bit on your background and how you got to be this fierce warrior against the nonsense we're seeing in the social lane right now in America. Well, at the age of 19, I joined the Upper Room Church of God in Christ and met who is now my father-in-law and pastor and bishop, Bishop Patrick Lane Wooden Sr. And back in the early 2000s, before these things became a pandemic as, as it relates to the pornographic materials that are in our schools, he was going out to school board meetings then, you know, early 2000s, talking about it. And so I went to the right church, and we're taught to have a biblical worldview and, th and to see the world through the lenses of Scripture. We're called to engage the culture. And when there are cultural issues that are taking place, the church is, call is called to speak to it, not to hide in the tuck tail and run from it. And so I've been a part of this ministry for the past 20 years. And about two years ago, I heard word that um, there was a young lady at a school in Chatham County who was being demonized because of her Christian faith. And so after hearing about that, I drove 45 minutes to a school board meeting, spoke and gave an address there, not knowing that that message would go viral. And they'll land me as the number one voice speaking out at school board meetings nationally. Yes. I mean, honestly, if I see anything in our schools, I don't think I will because we chose non-woke schools. I'm calling you first. <laughs> like you, you could deliver the message like no one can. Let's give the audience just a little flavor. Let's play the montage of John reading from some of these pornographic books in front of these school boards so people can get a flavor. 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher, currently in Storm Grove Middle School and Freshman Learning Center. Page 265 as if letting him finger me was going to cure all okay, my you. problems. Sir, I'll stop but you there. in the end, sir, I, I never stop told you, you to there. get away. Please, sir, and roll stop back it. and forth you don't from stop hip to hip. You sir, he needs to be removed. Page 127, my clit, my clit swell up, thanks daddy. Daddy sick me, disgust me, but still, he sexed me up. Page 53, my pee pee open, hot, stinky down my thighs, splatter, splatter. I'm seven, seven, she said. Look you, look you, don't even bleed. Virgin girls bleed. This needs to be removed tonight. We have six men on this board. And I wanna say to these men that's on this board, if you don't remove this book, you're either a punk or a pervert. If you leave it in here, you're a punk or a pervert. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go ahead and go. Go ahead and go, sir. And the police are removing you from the microphone by that point. It's incredible that they've been sicking the police on you to get you. So offensive are the words you're reading from the books in our children's school libraries. It's so true. I've now spoken in 14 states, amassed nearly 300 million views. I've been able to flip two school boards, one in Pennsylvania, one in New Jersey. Well, we were also able to strike down a transgender policy, policy 5756 in New Jersey. We've been able to re remove dozens of pornographic books all around the country. But what I'm seeing is that the cops are being weaponized against me. I went to Idaho to speak at a school board meeting there. And I sat in the school board meeting for nearly two hours, and then I was called out by a sergeant. He takes me outside and he tells me that I have been notified that you were coming. And keep in mind, I live in Wake Forest, North Carolina. That's thousands of miles away. But he was informed that I was coming and that he was instructed to remove me from the podium if I were to get off of topic. Keep in mind, he told me this before I spoke. And what that mm. was, was an attempt to scare me, to yep. see if I was going to be shaky and flaky and spineless like many of our preachers today who won't say anything about these I issues because they are cowards. You know, the Bible says in Revelation 21, 8, it gives us eight reasons why people will be thrown into the lake of fire. And number one is for being a coward. People are afraid to speak up because they don't want to be canceled. They don't want to be deplatformed. They don't want to be labeled. They want to soft pedal conversations, even when bringing on people like Charlemagne the God, who was afraid to talk about the true history of the Democrat Party because he doesn't want to lose his black support. Instead, he cowers and talks about 
how favorable Joe Biden is. Mm. But oh, at that school Charlie, board meeting, and no, yes. No, no. I mean, I, I believe in his sincerity. I don't think he's pandering. He says a lot of things that his audience may not like. He's pretty courageous, but I think he maybe hasn't seen films like, you know, the we talked about the other day, What Killed Michael Brown. He maybe hasn't read a lot of Shelby Steele or, um, you know, some of our, our leaders who have been so bold on some of these issues, right? Like they're not promoted in schools. And so they, I think a lot of people only have one view of race in America and they blame Republicans and sometimes whites for all the ills of society, as opposed to zeroing in on present day. It's the Democrats, ask Thomas Sowell. Exactly. Charlemagne de God, once again, was very soft on that issue. He didn't speak the truth. He's very intelligent. The guy is brilliant. He is. He is. A broken clock is right twice a day. That's true. But he knows the history of the Democrat Party. He knows that the Jim Crow laws that we had in this country were drafted by Democrats. He yeah. knows that it was the Democrats who wanted to keep slavery going. He knows that a lot of the red lining and a lot of the Jim Crow ideologies and principles that were held onto for so long, they were supported by the Democrat Party. He knows that the economy under President Trump versus Joe Biden, it was much better under President Trump. Inflation is, at, is nearly at an all-time high today. He knows it's the Democrat Party that does not want black students to have school choice so that we can remain subservient to the Democrat Party. He knows that, but because of racialized social constraint. He would much rather not tick off his community to keep favor with his community. I can care less about having favor with my community. I just want to be faithful to God. I want to tell you about Genucel's 25-year anniversary with an extra 25% off their already awesome prices, making this the biggest Genucel sale ever. Right now, get Genucel's most popular package featuring Gen 90 for immediate results in minutes and their top-selling under-eye bags and puffiness serum for over 70% off. Save big on all Genucel top-selling products for a younger, more youthful-looking you. And see those pesky bags and puffiness disappear right before your eyes. Genucel guarantees you will see results in less than 12 hours or your money back. For a limited time, get 70% off, 70 I say, plus an extra 25% anniversary discount automatically apply to checkout. I mean, if my math is correct, that's 95% off. Good luck finding a better sale. Once this sale is gone, though, it's gone. Order yours right now and get the Genucel jawline treatment for a more contoured, defined jawline. Genucel.com slash MK60. Genucel.com slash MK60. Visit Genucel.com now and get a free spa box with two bonus gifts and free shipping. It's a great deal. G-E-N-U-C-E-L dot com slash M-K-6-0. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.